what's up, YouTubers? I've been getting a lot of questions regarding mixing in Sony Acid, and I tell people I'm not an engineer. I don't really mix my own stuff. I send it to uh, Remedy Born Music, and you should do the same thing because they're cheap and they'll cut deals. But um, people don't want to listen. They're like, dude, you should make a video about mixing in Acid. And then I'm like, no, I shouldn't. And they're like, yeah, you should. So I guess my better judgment, uh, here's very basic mixing using Sony Acid Pro. Um, if you think that Sony Acid Music, or what is it called, Sony Music Studio is the same as Pro, you have a rude awakening ahead of you because Pro um, supports professional recording, whereas Music Studio does not. So if you're trying to record something and mix it and master it and all that, you're really not going to be able to with any version but Sony Acid Pro. I'm running Sony Acid Pro 5, uh, 6, and 7 do pretty much the same thing. They just probably do it better or differently. Memory is the cameraman. What do you use for mixing? Do you have monitors or do you have headphones? I have monitors. I sometimes use headphones when uh, the neighbors are knocking on the wall. Yeah. I have no choice. So if you're really serious about mixing your own stuff and learning how to engineer, then you'll probably want to invest in some really good monitors or some really good headphones or some all right monitors and some really good headphones. So I got a track uh, loaded into Acid. It's just kind of a, a half finished song um, that I'm recording with uh, AD of the Crest. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. It's a beat. To start the mixing process, probably the most obvious first step is to make sure that all your volumes are good. Uh, in other words, if your snare sounds like this, what is the snare? Turn it up. Make sure that you can hear every track, because if you can't hear every track, then what's the point of having a, a track that no one can hear? Also make sure that uh, in your master volume controls in the lower right hand corner of your screen that nothing is clipping and that's when the red line shows up uh, basically digital audio cannot be processed at above zero decibels your track is too loud it's gonna start distorting get your master volume as close to uh, zero decibels as you possibly can without going over uh, that'll make things easier when you reach the mastering process you'll also notice uh, in my composition that my tracks are panned. Ooh, my snare is not panned. Generally, you want to pan the snare a little to the right or the left channel. It's kind of called soft panning. It's like when you're driving and they say take a soft left. It's not that drastic of a of a change. So I'm just gonna pan, uh, soft pan my snares. I have three snares here because I layer my snares. I'm gonna soft pan it to the right to maybe 12%. Once I put the vocals in, um, the snare may interfere with the vocals and then I might want to pan it a little more because vocals and snares have somewhat similar frequencies. You have to watch out for that. Do not pan your bass drums. Do not pan your bass line. Keep that in the center. That should not be fighting with your vocals. Uh, so I'm keeping my, um, my kicks and I layered my kicks. I'm keeping those in the center keeping my bass line in the center. Uh, my hi-hats should be hard pan, so I kind of have it soft pan. You should maybe pan them a little more, somewhere around 40 or higher. Because those are some things that can obscure more important tracks, such as the vocals or piano lines, piano lead instruments. Um, so when I have my bass uh, line here, it's pretty quiet. You probably can't even hear it. Uh, so I'm going to add a stock effect that comes with Sony Acid Pro versions. Uh, I just click on track effects. I'm going to add my plugin. And um, it's a plugin called Wave Hammer. And they have a preset for bass. It's called Bass under Presets. And that's just a type of compression that's going to bring your bass out and make it a little crunchier and a little punchier. That rhymed. You probably can't hear the difference because video cameras don't have great mics. But um, 
trust me, try it for yourself. It'll, it'll improve the sound of your bass.